Let's consider this simple system we have on the screen where we have two pipes connecting a source tank to an end pressure. When we calculate the system we can view the results drawing and we can see that we have a flow rate of about 282 US gallons per minute. Let's say that we want to limit the flow rate to 200 US gallons per minute using a valve. In order to select a suitable valve we often need to know what the CV or KV value of the valve needs to be. These are often published by manufacturers. Pipe flow expert can derive the required CV or KV value as follows. First we will put a flow control valve on the system and limit the flow to 200 US gallons per minute. When we solve the system, in results mode we can hover over the pipe as well as noting that the flow rate is 200 US gallons per minute as expected we can also see that the control loss value is 2.099 PSI. If we go back into design mode we can remove the flow control valve as it has now given us the information that we need. We will now add a component to the pipe and set the set the mode to CV. Let's also set the symbol to CV. This has no bearing on the calculations but it just makes it easier to recognize what the component is in the diagram. We can click the calculator symbol next to the CV radio button. This allows us to specify the flow rate, which in our case is 200 US gallons per minute, and also a pressure loss. If we specify the pressure loss to be 2.099 PSI, which is what our flow control valve told us it would be, we can click calculate and see that Pipe Flow Expert has worked out what the CV value needs to be to achieve that combination of flow rate and pressure loss. So let's save this to the system, click the calculate button, view the results drawing and we can see that that component with that particular CV value that we calculated is controlling the flow at 200 US gallons per minute.